Hello and welcome back. This is David from the Personal Finance Squad. We have an automobile ownership tracker here and the tracker is a good way to see how much it's really going to cost you to have a car. Owning or leasing a car is more than just that vehicle itself. It's several other items such as insurance and gasoline and vehicle maintenance and certainly any uh, tabs, license plates, things like that, that your DMV or Secretary of State may, may charge you on a yearly basis. So what we have here is a way to put all this together to put everything in front of you. You can see right here, we took this right from the book and you can see that this will allow you to compare cars against each other when you decide to, to buy or lease. You can see, you can choose what you want because sometimes you want to compare the lease versus buy and some people have opinions about that and you have to determine the cost of what works for you, of course. Now you can see things like interest rate, down payment, what you're going to put down, so your, your total financing here is 5500 certainly gasoline, taxes if they apply in your state, and then like here's a title cost, destination fee they may charge, especially you see those in leases, and then a warranty, miles, and term of your payment, things like this, common things. Again, if you want to compare more than just five cars, you could go as far as you want and track it that way as an example. Now, you can see here if you want to determine your monthly payment, you put some things up here to help you out for not only finding a car, but also determining what that would be based on your interest rate. So we've opened up some information here for you, and you can see that they put some basic information in here. And they say, well, here's my loan amount. Here's my term of five years or 60 months. And then the interest rate is three. Now, let's say you don't know what your interest rate is, right? So you can go to one of these other links we have here, and you can just say, you know, if you have a credit score, you can certainly go in and put things in for you. So let's say, let's find a rate. Let's say we're going to purchase. Let's say we go to Alabama. I live in that and I want a 60 month. Okay, so you can see, for example, they're giving a rate of 2%. Again, these aren't exact. This is going to be based on conditions such as having really good credit probably in the top end of it and that would be something in the 800 score range or more if your rates lower you're not going to find these things out until you call itself but again these are tools you can use if you're a student you're not going to follow this out if you're an adult you're going to need to go and you know get down to the real nitty-gritty of finding out what your rate actually is but again let's just say you have really good credit and you knew that you probably could get this two percent if that was real but then you'd go down here and hit calculate based on two percent your monthly payment in this case would be 262.92 so you have the amortization calculator, you have the rate finder, and then again, comparing cars. We just put true car up here. There are several sites that you can use to compare cars. This will give you an idea of what prices for cars are selling for in your area based on other purchases, but you certainly can shop for cars. You can do whatever you want with these sites. This is just, again, one example. So if you go back to the site here, that's what's gonna cover some of this stuff. This is a great way just to get everything in front of you so you know what you're looking at so you can help yourself make an informed decision. Now here's the weekly miles estimator. We've also put this in here. This is ripped out from the book and this is a great way to see how many miles you're driving so you can determine on a weekly or bi-weekly basis really so you know on a monthly basis of course as to how many miles you're going to drive. And then you'll use your 12-month expense planning grid that we provided so you can determine if you're going to need upfront cash and all that type of thing and again of course your, your average amount every month. That's what all of this in here leads to. So you can see here that this will add things up for you. If you just put in how many trips, it already knows that it's round trip, so it'll calculate that because 12 times 4 is 48, but if you double it, because it's, again, it's times 2, it's 96, and then it does it across the board here. So if you just put 3 miles and 2 trips, 12, and you can see how it adds up here. Okay, so that's pretty simple there. This is just a piece for you to start your estimator and then go and again use the 12 month exercise and then you can determine again how much cost will it be on an average basis based on your other calculations. Uh, so in the chapter or in the budget exercise, you'll go in there and you will determine how much miles you'll need per gallon uh, per month and that will determine your cost. And you can see right here that this is just a piece that you can use to help you get along a little quicker because of the automation. Okay, so here's another one we've talked about was auto insurance. That was chapter four in the book. And you can see right here, this is just another basic grid that we've used and it allows you to look back and see what it costs you. So the carrier, there's the premium, certainly the term, the monthly amounts. Uh, if you get a discount for paying in full car rental roadside, these are some 
pretty common ones people are concerned about and certainly any other thing that matters to you and you can again always add rows if you want to push that over for example you could drag this over and add more columns and put information here as your column header and and make it work for what it is that you need okay so vehicle maintenance estimator this is another one we've talked about this one is in the budget exercises and you can see we've had some basic information inputted here just for an example you'll have to go in and do it yourself but you can see that it'll do some calculations for you if you see the three-year calculation here it's going to divide it by three so you know if the brakes are going to cost you for the front at 300 it's going to take it you can see the formula and say okay e5 here is this one so you can see that it's 300 and it's going to divide it by 36 for three years and it comes out to 833 a month and of course if you go down to a year here we have those formulas built in just divide by 12. so careful that if you're going to use this grid here you got to check the formulas out and so make sure the calculations are correct for you okay so these are the four pieces that go into buying a car so certainly figure out the cost in terms of what for gas mileage based on this estimator here but the rest of the stuff is a comparison guide and you can see that when you start adding this up how important the relevance it is to pay for a car okay so thanks for joining and we will see you in the next video